Peace, peace, peace and blessings. My name is Brother Mo of Motivate Photography and this is Brother Eddie Shoto with Nia 360. And collectively, we have brought forth a group called the Melanated Red Pill. Uh, it's a men's support group focusing on issues that affect us black men in the black community and beyond the Boston area as well. Um, it came about because uh, we had our own uh, individual men's group that we had started. Uh, I'm the first tell you about my men's support group. I saw a serious need for uh, brothers to basically step their game up. I seen there was a lot of information that we were lacking in and understanding that, you know, uh, men, all men pay dearly for things they do not know, but nobody pays more than a black man. Black man pays a, a very, very high cost for things that he does not know. So that's why I, I got together with my close friends, family members, and brothers in my community, and we started to basically just chop that game up, you know. Um, and Brother Nishoto, he had a, a men's support group as well that he had started on the other side of town, doing his own thing. I'll let him tell you more about his Yeah, I had a couple of men's groups and um, things dealing with uh, brothers in the community. You know, as a life coach, I want to focus more on brothers because um, it's like um, we're dealing with a lot. We're dealing with a lot. We're being accused of being the white supremacist of the community. You know, straight black men are being accused of being the protectors. We are the protectors. We're being accused of being the white supremacist of the community. And um, we're being destroyed by our women various ways. We're being targeted to be feminized. We're being shut down by police. So we are suffering serious mental health issues right now. Not saying that our women and children are suffering. They're suffering too. But the men, we're being hit hard. We're being hit hard and no one wants to recognize. And one of the things that's really bothering me is no one's going to realize it until we're extinct. So to prevent that, you know, I started you know, um, doing men's groups you know, with a couple of people, with a few people. Um, we're trying to get the men out there in leadership positions because um, this thing is real serious. We are targeted. You know, we're being exterminated. Right as we speak, there's probably another black man being shot down the street, another black man being sent to prison for something we didn't do right now as we speak. Real talk, I mean, it's, it's heavy. It's heavy. So, uh, with that in mind, so he had his own men's support group, I had my own men's support group, and combined we got together and we started the Melanated Red Pill Men's Group. Now, we say Red Pill, all we mean is a play on the terminology from the movie The Matrix, where the Red Pill taking the Red Pill is accepting the truth about your surroundings. There's nothing too hidden in there, there's nothing magical about it. It's figuratively speaking, it's not an actual Red Pill you can take. Really just understanding the truth about the surroundings of what you're And if you take the blue pill, that means you're okay with the way things are. You know, you don't want the truth. You want to remain enslaved. You want to remain in a um, submissive position. It's funny how you know a lot of people they rather take they rather take a, a, a lie. You know, they rather take a comforting lie over a harsh truth. You know what I mean? Uh, comforting, comforting lies make people feel a whole lot better than a harsh truth. But you know, everybody ain't cut out for red pill. But anyhow, so moving along, uh, so we're going to be showing this movie on uh, what's the date? The date will be June fifteenth, which is a Friday at six p.m. at sixty-one Columbia Road, Dorchester, Massachusetts, A.K.A. David Walker City. David Walker City. And um, yeah, we're showing the film, The Red. Hill, which will be um, coming from a European perspective, but we want to show the brothers, men only, we want to show the brothers this film because it's going to raise your conscious level. Because if it's harming white folks, it's killing black folks. Let me say that again in another way. If it's harming white men, that means it's killing black men. So, uh, so, real quick, I want to give a shout out to our brother, Brian Richards. Uh, he opened the doors for us to have this location to show this movie. He's also the founder of a program called FIN, that's F-I-N, which is short for Fathers in Need. It's a men's support group for fathers where they get good information, uh, understand the legal, the legalities, what you are, are entitled to, what you're not entitled to, just to be in the know. 
um, throw some really good information out there. Any brothers out here who are fathers, whether you're with your uh, the mother of your children or not, uh, especially if you're not, you might want to give them a look at the um, at finance, fathers and me. Um, but anyhow, so 61 Columbia Road, on the corner of Columbia Road and Cedar Street. Um, we are going to be starting at what time? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. 6 6 to 9 30. 30. And following the film, we're going to have a short conversation uh, reflecting basically on the film. There will be light refreshments, nothing too major. Um, no, you brothers can chop it up. And again, uh, sorry sisters, but this is only for the brothers. Uh, uh, for fathers, whether if you, even if you don't have any children, still come on out. It's just going to be a great way to kick off Father's Day weekend. And uh, we hope to see you guys there. Anything you guys want to add on top of that? Just come and get some information that will help you out and help you have a happy Father's Day. Oh, by the way, um, just, just, just a little thing for you brothers to do. If you have a baby's mother and she's trying to wish herself a happy Father's Day, you need to stand up to her and tell her, no, that ain't happening because you're the father. And if you haven't been a father before, you need to start becoming a father now. I'm going to end with that. Well, yeah, that's the heavy one to end on. You know, it's funny, I feel like we the only group of people who have this argument every year on Father's Day about, you know, who we should be celebrating Father's Day on Father's Day. Well, that's going to stop. We need to put it in today because, like, we stop that argument. We will. Like, we out here showing our mental illness. Can we stop? Anyway, we're we'll wrapping it up. <laughs> I'll be around like a clown downtown wearing a crown, and you know this. Peace. Bless. Bye.